All right, good afternoon to those of you on the East Coast. Good afternoon also to those of you on the West Coast. I'm your host, Brandon Troy, uh, host and co-creator of Movers and Shakers Unlimited. Thanks so much for joining us. We're having a little bit of a technical uh, difficulty, but we are here. Um, as you all know, we do have a couple of guests from uh, upcoming, uh, oh, well, Australian uh, horror, horror film known as I.I. I. Um, so let me bring on our two guests uh, for this block. Uh, first up, I have the executive uh, producer, um, Kanesh uh, Sadaram. Let me bring him on. Hold on one second. There you are, man. How you doing? Um, good, good, good. How are you? Good, good, good. All right. So let me bring on our uh, our second guest. Uh, there are also a gentleman here. He is the distributor. Uh, also acting producer for um, II. So I want to bring on John Blythe. Let me bring him on. John, how's it going, man? How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good, good. All right. So gentlemen, uh, first and foremost, uh, as I said, thank you so much for uh, for joining. Um, I know you guys are on the other side of the world. So uh, for uh, for some of us that are here, so thank you so much for joining again. Um, can you just uh, tell me how how did uh, the involvement uh, for each of you, you know, come about? I'll let Kanish go first. Um, <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> uh, um, hopefully everyone hears me very well. Hopefully and well. All right. Uh, first, we shot in um, I.I. movie throughout in Brisbane, which is in Australia. And then uh, after the post-production work, uh, I was trying to find the uh, good distributor and sales attorney to to market the movie worldwide not only within our local australia but worldwide so i was trying to reach reach out to a few people but then somehow through a referral i met mr john through emails and then we had a few talks and then he's willing to say like okay why not we help uh, we help you because we like the product and then we they he's seen the trailer and really impressed i believe <laughs> Impressed with the way we shot it, the IA movie. So they said, okay, why not I help you out? And then he, until now, he's, he's doing a great job. Thank you, Mr. John, sir. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you to be part of the IA family. Oh, well, thank you, Kanash. It's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we yeah. made it by, somehow we made it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our journey, a short way. I like to introduce that. <laughs> gotcha. Over to you, Mr. John, sir. Over to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, so about a year and a half ago, um, my business partner, uh, Myron Ward, um, he and I were uh, talking about how to, uh, how to find movies like in other countries and how to uh, license them here in the U.S. And so we were just trying, you know, this new... Um, model of, of how we could you know help a lot of foreign filmmakers and we had done some business down in indonesia and um and of course it's right before this thing called COVID 19 hit <laughs> but uh um we we went down to indonesia and we were licensing some pretty good horror films and then um somebody down there uh a distributor that we had met told me about this movie ii I, that had was just getting ready for a release and it was filmed down in neighboring uh, Australia. And uh, eventually when I got back to the States, I checked out the trailer and I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is a really effective uh, horror film. I mean, and then I saw the, um, the poster and the poster kind of even stood out to me too. It's like, it's really creepy. It would be a really good uh, foreign horror film to, to bring into the U S. So how I came kind of came into it was kind of after the fact, but, I told uh, uh, Kanesh as well as the director, um, Alan, uh, you know, if you guys need help, you know, trying to rep, rep the film in other territories or, or contacts here in the U.S. that I might have that might be interested in trying to distribute the film, you know, I'm happy to help. And, of course, everything kind of got put on the back burner with COVID because everything has been so up in the air this last year. But we're kind of hoping 2021 will be a much better year for 
for us as uh, filmmakers and, and producers and trying to, you know, push that envelope. So. Good <laughs> Awesome. For sure. For sure. Um, and actually, just to switch gears, um, uh, Kanesh, uh, for, for you, I know, uh, and, and I'll have him on later, but uh, with Alan, you know, I understand that, you know, there are other projects that you guys that are, you guys are developing. So with that being said, um, can you talk a bit about having, because because you it's not commonly, you know, heard of to, you hear about um, collaborations that, that uh you know happen you know again and again and again and and you know great work working relationships that are in the industry whether it's between directors and writers or producers and directors whatever the case may be um can you talk about what 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 you feel that synergy is between you guys that a lot uh that has carried over not just with this film but i, I guess it's going to carry on with you know many other projects that you guys have Sure. Uh, Mr. Alan, Dian, Alan, Arumugu, Lindrian, Alan Arumugum, he's a good script writer, first of all. And he has, uh, he carries on some, uh, whenever he writes a script, a one-liner, they have some unique style, unique style that you never heard of or you never seen of from any of the movies. Because uh, the way he wrote the script, it's it's more in a complicated, not complete, in a complex method, where it's, it's uh, when you read the script, it feels like wow, this is new, unique content. So nowadays, people, audience are prefers a new content rather than repeating the same same storyline, same um, same unit, unit, uh, same technique. But they, they don't want same technique because they've seen plenty of movies coming out same technique. Even when it comes to action, it's all about revenge, for example. But his story is is for Act 13. It's something different when it comes to more action, more killing stuff, but there's a uniqueness in the, in the script. So that, that's, the, that's the first thing I like about Elen Dillian when, when he shot AI. He always shares his, his ideas, his content with me, and I might gi I'll give him some suggestion in the, uh, in, based on that. So that unique style, I think this this what we need for in future filmmakers. They really need this one of the quality to bring up a good content and it's good uh, and it's be more easier for film distributors or salespersons to represent the movie and to bring it up to the buyers or to the audience straight away or to the traders. So that's the that's the quality I've seen in him. So I thought, okay, why not we move on to more projects, more projects so we get to know each other more better. And it can be a good collaboration in in the future. Absolutely. Um, and John, in that same regard, it's actually a great segue into my question for you. And that uh, just that um, have, having that goal of you know, maximizing the reach of of the film and and uh, really delving deep into you know just as you said those those elements that he felt would would translate well in you know other markets can you also speak to that because kind of in that same way it's, as i said it's kind of unheard of that you that you have instances where things are meshing and, and you have kind of like a a, a well-run machine you, you could probably you know uh, um, uh speak to that with, with a lot of films sometimes you know in, in films where when you're dealing with when you have uh all the the parties involved they're still kind of trying to learn their way. And it feels like here, you know, it's already a good foundation that's been set in order to, you know, uh, carry it, carry the film to the next level. So can you, can you speak to that too, you know, as someone on the outside looking in? Yeah. Well, you know, I've always been kind of a, uh, a global thinker when it comes to filmmaking, um, particularly the, like the last few years, because, um, you know, I've worked with a lot of American filmmakers um you know um but i've always been really interested in this to see how filmmakers do things in other countries like i've worked with filmmakers in canada as well but this is really the first time that i've started working with uh filmmakers from southeast asia for example indonesia and in kenesh and alan's case down in australia um and one thing that i've, I've found out um is that they they, they seem to have more um 
uh, original projects that I don't see too much here of in American. I think that's one of the, the things that really intrigues me the most and, and one thing that I'm really drawn to. Um, it, it, it's, it's refreshing to know that there's filmmakers out there in other countries that are thinking outside the box and thinking of new ideas to, uh, to tell a story and to bring them to other markets. And so, um, yeah, I've just been really, you know, thankful that there's uh, filmmakers all over the all over the world that I can, you know, form a relationship with and, and work with them on some capacity. And Alan and I have actually talked, you know, very extensively on, you know, possibly, you know, coming on as a, you know, producer on his, you know, future stuff with Kinesh. And he and Kinesh have a really good relationship. I mean, I've talked with both of them individually and they they really complement each other and that's also really refreshing because you know we we all know how how relationships can be in the film industry but uh kanish and alan i think have a really solid working relationship as filmmakers for sure um and with that being said guys uh can you also i feel like that that again speaking of segues um talk about the upcoming slate of uh Kanesh, you could probably, you know, speak to that of outside of uh, Yai, uh, some other films that, you know, people can be on the lookout for. So our upcoming, we have a two projects up front. One is like a big budget of, um, series. It's called Nine Nights, The Nine Nights. And one more is like Arc 13. And the third project, we haven't started the script yet. It's called Apsu. It's a... It's a Something related with uh, worldwide, uh, world, world War Two. During World War Two, there's some um, incident will happen. We haven't started on the script yet, but uh, we are now focusing on Arc Thirteen, which is a full, full-on like gangsters action thriller movie. Gotcha, John. Uh, yeah, we uh, <clears throat> we just finally finished um, post-production on a slasher film that we did uh, a couple years ago called The New Hands, and it stars uh, uh, Oscar nominee and Golden Globe winner Sally Kirkland. Um, and uh, so we're hoping to get a release uh, sometime this year. Uh, we're actually going to be releasing the poster of it here pretty soon, actually. Um, but uh, but aside from that, we, we have some other projects that are in development. Um, we just did a, uh, wrote a script for a war drama called Beyond Mosul, which is about the uh, a fight against ISIS in the Middle East, um, and then uh, if uh, if Alan and Kanish need help on Arc Thirteen, I'll be happy to help them on Arc Thirteen too. It sounds like a really definitely, so definitely you're only part of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, but I, I did I did read their uh, you know their their outline in the script for for that particular film, and it, it does sound like it's a really uh, really intriguing action thriller. So I'm really excited to see it go into production. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Well, uh, guys, uh, as I said, again, thank you guys so much for uh, uh, hopping on and talking about uh, AI. Um, and, uh, you know, I look forward to, you know, the next upcoming uh, projects that you guys have on tap. All right. Yeah, thank you. And, and thank uh, you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. For yeah, the absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, and, 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 and for your viewers, you know, definitely check out the AI trailer. You know, it, it's, it's great okay. stuff. <laughs> great horror films. All right. Awesome. Well, Thank there you guys. Absolutely. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, again, I'm your host, Brandon Troy, host and co-creator of Movies and Shakers Unlimited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe out there, and I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Thank you, Brandon. See you. Right. See you, Johnson. See you. See you later, Kenesh. Thank you. Bye.